Hi nerds, welcome back. So last week I spoke about different cult types and today I kind of wanted to expand on that and talk about how frequently each of these kind of cults should be groomed professionally. Do keep in mind that these are just guidelines and they may vary quite a lot dog to dog so if in doubt please do talk to your own groomer and they will be able to advise you further. The most frequent visitor to a grooming salon should be a puppy. A puppy should start coming in as soon as it's allowed to go outside, so essentially after puppy jabs and the vet said, yeah, that's fine, go ahead, you should be ringing up your local groomer to book in a couple puppy introduction sessions. This is especially important with any kind of willy coated breed, such as Bichons, Poodles, or any kind of crossbreed with a tag, Sean, Oodle, or Poo in its name. So many breeders sadly tell buyers that, oh, you don't need to have your puppy groomed until we're six months or even 12 months old and that is just not true at all you should be bringing your puppy in as soon as possible or otherwise down the line you will be dealing with a matted cult and unfortunately your groom is not going to have any other choice but to clip the cult short instead of keeping your puppy nice and fluffy when it does eventually come to a grooming salon when it's a year old when you bring your puppy into a grooming salon at a young age it doesn't mean that we're going to clip the cult it's just to get the puppy used to the grooming process and ideally they should be done every about three to four weeks and carrying on from woolly coated puppies, a woolly coated dog in general is by far the highest maintenance breed you can get as a dog owner. This type of dog should ideally visit a groomer every four to six weeks. This kind of schedule would apply to any kind of dog that has a slightly longer style, as the longer the coat is, the easier it is to tangle, and obviously it requires a lot more maintenance at home as well. Silky coated breeds can vary on the technique used. Hand strip coats can require more frequent visits than clipped, but on average you are looking around six to eight weeks. The fine coat can tangle up really, really easily if not looked after properly, and just like with woolly coated dogs, do require regular maintenance at home if the coat is left a little bit longer. And just like with silk coats, wire coated dogs can be either hand stripped or clipped. Hand stripping can vary on so many different factors, so it's best to speak to your groomer and they will be able to advise you further. On average, wire coated dogs are far less maintenance than silky and woolly coated dogs, but you are still looking at regular grooming appointments anywhere between 6 to 12 weeks, just depending on the style required. But please do keep in mind that even a harsh wiry coat can get matted if not looked after properly, especially if the dog has been spayed or neutered. This causes some hormonal changes in your dog and it can change the coat texture to really fine and silky, and this can cause the coat to tangle up a lot easier. Double coated dogs can vary massively in frequency, as some dogs will only shed once a year, twice a year, or between every season, but then equally you do have dogs that will just shed non-stop, there just doesn't seem to be an end to it at all. I personally recommend dogs like this to come in every 8 to 12 weeks. Over time, the loose undercoat can actually become compacted in the fur, and this will then cause issues with the dog's heat regulation, and can even become matted. And let's be honest here, you'd rather have the groomer clean up all the hair instead Instead of it being on your carpets, right? And finally, smooth coated dogs. These type of dogs are by far the easiest maintenance from an owner's perspective, but I do still recommend regular de shedding appointments every 8 to 12 weeks. This again does help with the shedding at home, and we get the cleanup. On top of keeping your dog's coat in great condition, regular visits to your groomer can actually be incredibly beneficial to your dog's health. A groomer will spend a lot of time hands-on with your dog, so we do notice any new lumps and bumps very easily. But having that new lump checked out by a vet can mean the difference between nothing to worry about and something serious. And that's it guys, that's the average frequencies for each cult type. Now, like I said at the start of the video, this can vary dog to dog, so please do have a chat with your groomer to figure out the best schedule for your own dog. And if you're a groomer, I have actually created a little printout you can download, link in the description, and you can print this out and pop it in your salon for your customers to see as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, do leave it a little thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well so you don't miss my next video. Bye guys!